hi guys welcome back to our channel today i'm going to be doing a review on this wig i have on my head right here so if you guys are interested then keep watching also don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're loving the content and yeah let's get right into it today um i am doing a review on the Janet collection um and this is the transparent natural hairline with three uh with 13 by 6 frontal part it is the, um part of their melt collection which is which this is the first wig i've um had in that collection so i was super super excited to try it i bought this wig from sam's beauty and yeah let's just read the stock card this is uh, color 1b and the wig is in the style juniper at first i thought it said jupiter but I'm, I, when i got the wig i'm like oh it's juniper j-u-n-i-p-e-r so i got the color 1b so on the stock card to say it is a 13 by 6 lace party space which is true you do get um a lot of lace in the front and lace around um the meltdown is a natural translucent lace hairline. Um, I think so. I think they did really good with the hairline and the lace. Um, it's really good. So I'm done reading the cap. I'm, <laughs> I'm done reading the stock card. Oh yeah, let me just show you guys. They have the wig in a lot of different other colors. They have a Bay Lodge Caramel, Strawberry Blonde, and is that Butler Scotch? Butler Scotch. Then they have your regular colors, one, two, and one B. So, let's get into my thoughts on this wig. First of all, yes, the lace is gorgeous. I love the um, lace that they put on here. It's a very nice color. I haven't put any type of make. Sorry about the glue, cause you guys, you can see kind of the glue there. I have to wipe it up, but I haven't put any type of um, what was it called, like the lace tint spray, or any type of um, foundation. <laughs> it's nighttime here, and I'm very tired. So, but yeah, I didn't put any uh, lace tint spray, any foundation, and it's looking like that. So just think when I put my foundation or some you know concealer on here how nice it's gonna be this is the hairline right there you can see it's not bad it was it's pretty plucked like they said i think it's pretty good i just need to put my makeup and powder in there and i think i i love this it's like perfect it's nice and melt it's very nice i put a little bit of baby hairs right here they give you lots of baby hairs so you're good to go if you like doing baby hairs. Um, you're good on that. The hair texture is a, I'm gonna say light yakky. It's not silky, but it's not yakky yakky. It's like a light, light yakky texture. The cap construction is two combs in the front, one comb in the back and the adjustable straps, which I cut out the combs because I just don't like them. This cap, uh, cap size is like, the worst like this is the worst cap construction ever i don't like it the cap is like huge it's not it's like overly huge like even for someone with a big head this cap is going to be huge in your head it's that big um so i don't like it also when they make these caps like super huge like this and then put no hair in the in the wig it leaves like these um tracks and these like little like these big pieces of I don't know how to explain it but the cap is like it's like sticking out <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see it it's like sticking out but um it's, it's like pretty bad I don't I don't like it at all and it's like super super thin it's like really thin the curls are really pretty I just wish they put more hair in this wig since the cap is so huge it's like oh it's like flapping it's so big that the cap is like flapping <laughs> you know you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> but 
I, I don't like it at all. I hate this cap construct. It seems like if they, it seems like every time if they get the lace right, the cap is awful. If they get the cap right, the lace is awful and the hair texture is awful. It's like, we can't, we can't, can we ever get like a nice lace, a nice, um, nice lace front with a nice hairline, beautiful hair and a great cap construction can we get that can we get all of that in one <laughs> anyway um yeah but that um that's the only thing i don't like i think this wig is beautiful it's just there's not enough hair and the cap is like overly huge even for someone with the, with the big head it's like huge 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 but really pretty and what i'm thinking is i might go to my beauty supply and buy some tracks and like try to put them in this wig because it's just way too thin and especially for i think i spent almost 50 50 bucks for this wig and there's no hair in it so and i like a lot of hair but yeah i haven't done anything like i said i just put it, glued it on um i'm gonna probably have to sew it down just because it's so big on my head i'm gonna have to sew it down so i'm gonna do that in the morning and I'm going to add um, my powder and everything. But yeah, I didn't have to put a hot comb to it. It's pretty flat. It's pretty nice. And um, the curls are beautiful. Beautiful. It's just the only thing I don't like. Cap size. And how thin it is. Super thin. So I'm going to show you guys. This is the hair to the front. All of it. The side. And guys, I'm trying clothes on, so this shirt has a tag on it, so don't mind me. <laughs> Let's tear it to the, the back. And then this side. So yeah, that's the hair. Like I said, really, really pretty. I probably I'm gonna probably do some kind of style in it, like put it up or something, cause it's just like way too thin. I don't like wearing when my hair is so thin like this. I don't like wearing it, wearing it down. But you know, um, I live in Florida and it's so hot here. So maybe this thin hair is a blessing in disguise. But it's just like I don't know. Do you know like how you have a natural density? This is not natural. This is super thin. And I know I would not be able to like take this hair. You know when the hair get raggedy, you just take it and flat on it and then just wear it straight. You would not be able to do this with this wig because it's so thin. You're gonna walk around with track showing in the back of your head and you're gonna walk around with some super thin hair. And it's gonna be like, girl, just take that thing off and throw it away. Cause all your tracks must have fell out. That's how thin it is. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I wanted to do this without makeup on because um, I know a lot of people, they buy these wigs and they want to see how they look without makeup on because a lot of people don't want, a lot of people don't wear makeup. So this is how it is without makeup on. You can still look cute and <laughs> have a plain face. But um, yeah, this is Juniper color 1B. I would rate this a... I'm gonna give this wig a six because it's not like, you know, something we haven't seen before. We've seen this before. So I'm gonna give this wig a six and um, yeah, Jennifer, you get a six. The only thing I like on this wig is the curls and the lace. Very, very pretty. But yeah, I rated a six. Would I buy this again? Probably not. <laughs> but if you're looking for something like this that's not super heavy, go ahead and get it. But I'm here to tell you guys the truth, and that is what I, yeah. Anyway, thanks for guys. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.